Hey, how you doing everybody? It's Tuesday. It's Transformer Tuesday. We're going to try to get into the video pretty quick because it is another unboxing and I know sometimes it takes a bit of time, especially looking at that boy right there. He may take a little bit of time figuring out how to transform or me trying to figure out how to transform. Right there we have the knife head. It was a little bit to the side just showing a little bit of the long line baby. Like, what the heck is that? So I figured I'd get it in the forefront and see. Remember to do that and remember to hit that subscribe. Bring us up to that 1,000. We hit 700. 701, I think, this morning. But um, we hit that and we do really want to hit that 1,000 view or 1,000 subscribers. Please, please help us and to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you so much. This is drop hit number 22 from the studio series. It is Transformers Bumblebee movie. That was the first time we saw it. He was a, a helicopter, as you can see. He was also a car in it, and the voice actor who did it in is Justin Thorax. And it was in the 2018 Bumblebee movie, and it was also killed by Bumblebee. So we have all that nice little background on him. We have an original Bumblebee to kind of commemorate the movie, and we have one from the second movie. We don't have the Bumblebee from that movie. Rhinox from the um, Transformers uh, Rise of the Beast. So let's take a look. Looky out the box here. Right there. We do have the Victoria Knox that I just hit right there. As you can see, he does have a little stand and everything. I know a lot of people are liking the unboxing videos, and I do have a few I can do and some I want to do. So we'll be doing those. Uh, but Wednesday, we do EDC stuff, and I'm going to do a little discussion not a show but a discussion about edc knives if you're into that i know everybody that's in the edc community really likes that. So if you want to tune in for that we would appreciate the love by tuning in and hitting that like on that and hitting that subscribe too if you haven't as of yet so as we get drop kick out of here and he gives it a little Thing right there for where the transformer symbol is on there i'll just put the box in the background we do have the little setup and i'll just wait a minute oh i'm like where's the instructions inside and the instructions are inside the box so there we go that would make sense right there we'll put that right there let's take a quick looky at the instruction because i probably will need them um you know the deal, people. So you pause for the calls and check out the instructions if you like. And just do a little cookie on that. So you can take a look. See? I'm trying to do more information about the Transformers. As you can see, these two weapons right there, like I told you, we was in the movie. I think that would make it a little bit more interesting. So let's just clip the little plastics. And of course, we'll start them over to the side so we can get rid of them later and of course we'll check out and why would they have that is this weird that one's gonna be hard to get to not that one the ones over here are and we have to take care of that back here because i don't want to chop off pieces of the transformer I think I'm going to leave the weapons in, actually. Because we can, of course, imagine that. We need to scoot these over to the side there. And, of course, we'll take the Victoria Knox, get that out of the way. Now, articulation. The head. Not much at all. The arms, we do have shoulders. We do have elbows. We do have the hips. And we do have the knees. But eh, not much on the hands he cannot do the twist like some of the other ones so there you have it we'll take a nice little look see and try to get into this so we cannot have a tremendously long video i think i'm just gonna go straight for looking at the instructions but um okay so hold on one second that is just odd it is saying these pieces fold up and down what Oh, okay. So yes, the hands kind of fold out. I thought they fold in a different manner. But hey, 
I figure I look at the instructions this way. It won't take a freaking long time. And then this kind of folds up, see? So as you can see, the hands just kind of fold into the back rudder. And this kind of is supposed to fold up. Oh, there, there we go, man. Let's say about this piece going up. Oh, it kind of comes out and up or something. That is an interesting factoid. That is weird. I would I would expect that to go to the back if you would. So things getting a little bit weird already. We're having delays already, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. That is definitely a tad bit odd. Um <laughs> so these come up here, but this is supposed to fold up here, kind of. Oh, okay, so you move this to get this over the head, and then you fold it under. So I guess that kind of makes sense. And then these go up like he's clapping up in the R. So that's a little bit strange. But, hey, I didn't make it. So, oh, let's see. We need to get these to turn around like so see we're getting complications already no let me see So see, we already have complications, peoples. Ah, here we go. That folds up like that. And then these spin on their axis over here. It's making, it's coming together here. It's making sense, if you will. Didn't look like it spun like that, so it kind of threw me off. And these kind of there's little notches for them to connect, and then if you connect that. gets even weirder because he starts to turn and look like a Gundam for some odd reason mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep so this is the back of course I'm pretty sure you figured out that aspect of it by now but this isn't quite connecting because this team quite to move over all the way so we have to get that over and yes this is gonna be longer than 10 my usual 10 minutes of videos the unboxings usually are cuz they're not one two threes like if I have it out of the box already it's a little bit easier because it's not an unboxing it's already unboxed and I can do a dry run of it and try to put it together. Although, there has been situations where even a dry run <laughs> had its problems. Um, so there we go over there. And I imagine this is gonna come down. And I just wanna take a look at the box. I'm pretty sure that would help a lot of stuff. And then the 
wasn't going to go over there. I think we're up to this situation. Oh. So this turns completely around. This, I, I, I wasn't supposed to put that up yet. I do know that. Um, so this turns completely around. That's what makes that come up. Which makes tons and tons of sense now. And if you ever watch the original Gundams, that's kind of look what they look like, some of them. So I guess we have a little homage to the world of Gundams. And I want one step ahead and flip that front up. And let me see if I can get this without looking at the instruction. That'd be nice. This tucks under. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I think it does because. Yeah. What I think happens is this goes under, but it does have to be upside down. Oh, and of course, here we go. New Transformers, they come apart. That's the one problem I have with newer style Transformers. When they just come apart like that, it's quite annoying. should be put in. I didn't want it to be a tremendously long video, but that looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon. You know what, let's just put that to the side. We'll get back to that. That's why I was like, well, wow, how would that go? I mean, I kind of answered my own question there. So these would flip around. And we'll just do a quick look over it in a vehicle mode or helicopter mode. Helicopter's still a vehicle. These little pieces come out. It is much easier to put this piece in. That's for sure. Yep, oh, let's just take it off camera for a sec. Try to get this plastic piece back into place. And I'm hitting the camera stand. See, so. When you do unboxings like this, it doesn't always work out. And I don't like to watch other people's videos of it because I like to do it myself. It's a learning process. We're learning together. And then this way, when you do it, it won't have these fumbles like I did. Yeah, okay, that goes there, that goes there. And then this kind of comes together in front here. I think that would help to get the gun out. And I think what the other one shatter is the jet. But they were both cars at one situ at one point of the movie as well. So I guess they're kind of triple changers, but they don't make them as triple changers. 
Which I can understand completely, because that would be freaking hard. <laughs> Even the old ones, the um, Astro Train. It wasn't an easy task to make them triple changers. It's a cool concept to have the triple changers, and it's something new and different. Especially back then, but I can completely understand how that would be a complete pain in the butt. Yeah, it's not too bad in a lengthy time. So what I thought I said. I tried. I just gotta put this piece on right here. Yep. As long as I don't drop it. And there we have it. We have drop kick all together and this piece doesn't want to stay. Of course. So there he is in his helicopter mode. The propeller does kind of spin. Not very well. Um, the rudder. It's kind of like, it is hard to keep together, to be honest. Really hard. Because he doesn't want, all his pieces don't want to stay nice and conformed for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> There we go. And then that piece falls down. And then that makes that come apart, of course. Rather as I'm saying, I don't want to make this tremendously long with this stuff like that, right? And then the rudder spins a lot better than the top one, that's for sure. But there you have it, people. Drop kick. A little bit of a complication, but we hold it together and we got it together. And you saw the weapons over there. So there you have it, people. I don't want to keep you much longer. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, I appreciate you guys. And have a great, great day.